Hey y'all, so I got ahead of myself and I didn't really take in process videos. But this is the um This is the lid of the cedar chest that I'm trying to refinish. And initially this was going to be painted because my wife has never met a piece of wood she didn't want to paint. However, once I started stripping the old varnish off or shellac or whatever it was just to get um, a good base to put paint on she says oh it's all it's cedar i was like well that's it's a cedar chest <laughs> so um well i like that so now i ended up sanding and sanding and stripping and it's been a challenge especially since it's 97 degrees out here um Anyway, it's been a challenge, um, but we're doing this wipe on poly because we wanted the cedar um, tone to come through more than a shellac. So we'll see what happens. I think it's still going to darken it more than she's going to like, and I may end up painting it anyway. And that's okay. She's worth it. But it has been a lot of work. And this is a very old cedar chest. Um... So it needed some repairs. However, every time I touched it, it needed another repair. So there's more biscuits and and uh, wood dowels and structural supports added to this. <laughs> Whereas, per par for the course, I should have just ended up buying what I wanted in the first place. But you know, this way I own it. So we'll see. This is the first coat. Um, I did the lid last just to see how it was going to go on um, But any painting or anything to do with the finish I am terrible at so we'll see how this works out It's gonna supposed to get three coats um, And I'm doing this outside So we'll see how this is going to work out, but I think it'll be okay. I've already um done this of course it's dark as I'm in a shelter but it's probably going to be darker than what she wants um, but I'm already doing two coats on here actually a real thick first coat mainly because it soaked it up but the um, I got some something fell in it um, the finish that was on there initially was shellac or polyurethane it was so thick i mean i went through belt after belt i mean just destroying these belts on the belt sander and then i ended up using uh <clears throat> denatured alcohol which is nasty stuff and stripper and there's a lot of time into this thing so we'll see and i probably shouldn't be doing a second coat here this is where I screw up. I get over ambitious. Yep, I shouldn't have done it. Now hopefully I can get it to flow. I don't know. Dang it. Should have just did what I did on the other part. I thought I learned my lesson. Do a couple light coats, but no. Watch me end up having to sand this to get it to flow out. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I'm trying to do this so it's smooth strokes, but these are not smooth strokes. We'll see. I may have to touch it up with steel wool or something, but that's where we are right now. It's been about 100 degrees or so every day for a while so doing this yeah, I'm just messing this up I need to walk away <laughs> so we'll see how it goes thanks for watching